New vocab words to go ahead and add to your glossary. Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that have a common vertex and a common side, but no common interior points. That's the fancy definition of adjacent angles. Basically, adjacent angles are next to each other. If, if two people are adjacent to each other, they're next to each other. So, an example of a pair of adjacent angles in this situation would be angle RTL and angle RTS. So they have the same vertex, T. They have a common side, RT, but no common interior points. These are all the interior points for angle RTL. These are all the interior points for angle RTS, and none of those points are in common with each other. So the list goes on and on for this, but I guess another pair of uh, adjacent angles would be angle LTN and angle NTE. Those are adjacent. So they have a common vertex, T. They have a common side, ray tn and they're touching each other they but they have no common interior points so those are just two examples of two pairs of adjacent angles Lin a linear pair is two adjacent angles so a pair of adjacent angles so keyword they have to be adjacent they must be adjacent in order to be a linear pair with non-common sides that are opposite rays so what that means is like ray T R and ray T E are opposite rays and T ray T S would be the common side for these two angles. Um, so they're non-common sides are opposite rays, so they make a straight line. So basically when you're looking for a linear pair, you're looking for a line, linear line. So like angle RTS, this angle right here, angle RTS, and angle ETS form a linear pair. Um, so their non-common sides form a straight line, they're opposite rays, so look for a straight line when you're looking for a linear pair. Another example of two angles that form a linear pair would be like angle LTN and angle NTS. So here's that straight line and then we have this angle and this angle that form a linear pair. So again, always look for that straight line. So there's several other linear pairs in this situation. Maybe let's do one more, just because it's kind of tricky. Um, let's do angle RTN. This whole angle forms a linear pair. RTN forms a linear pair with NTE. They form a linear pair. So the big idea is linear pairs, you look for that straight line when they're stuck together. Um, but in this bottom corner, make a note. Um, when two angles form a linear pair, they're always going to be supplementary. They're always going to add to 180 degrees. So linear pair are always supplementary. So the measure of angle RTS and the measure of angle ETS equal 180. Measure of angle LTN plus the measure of angle NTS equals 180. So linear pairs are always supplementary. Next thing, vertical angles. Vertical angles are two non-adjacent angles, so that means that they don't touch. Two non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines. So kind of look for an X with vertical angles. So Here's a line, SL, here's a line, RE, 
and these two angles formed by those intersecting lines are vertical angles. So angle RTL, this angle right here, and angle STE. Those are vertical angles. They are formed by two intersecting lines. They have the same vertex, but they um, they don't they're not adjacent. So they don't share a side. Another set of vertical angles. If you look at line SL and line RE like this, this angle and this angle are vertical angles. So angle RTS and angle LTE are also vertical angles. But that's those are only two pairs of vertical angles on this picture. Um, and what's special about vertical angles is, I'm going to type this because I'm writing it last time. It did not work out so well. Um, big idea is that vertical angles are always congruent. So vertical angles are always congruent. Their measures are equal. So vertical angles always have the same measure. So if this angle is 50 degrees, then this angle is 50 degrees. If this angle is 100 degrees, this angle is 100 degrees. So look for that X. All right, here's our example. So copy this down into your notebook. First, I'm going to look and see, okay, do I have any linear pairs? Do I have any vertical angles? And what jumps out to me is I see that angle AED and angle BEC are vertical angles. Those two angles are formed by two intersecting lines that are across from each other. So I see that X. So these are vertical angles. So if they're vertical, they're congruent, which means they're equal to each other. I'm going to set them equal to each other. I'm going to say 2X plus 29 should be equal to 5X plus 20. They're vertical angles, therefore they're congruent, so I set them equal to each other. So I'm just going to solve this equation. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. And then I'm going to subtract 20, which gives me 9. And then I divide by 3, and x is 3. And now I need to go figure out what this angle is. So that has the Y in it. That's how I'm going to figure out the Y is. But first, I'm going to take 3 and plug it back in for X. So it doesn't really matter which one I plug it back into. I'll plug it into this one. It's easier. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 20 is 35 degrees. So this angle is 35 degrees. These two angles, angle AEB and angle BEC, form a linear pair. And remember, if they form a linear pair, here's that straight line. If they form a linear pair, then they add up to 180. They're supplementary. So I'm going to do 180 minus 35, which gives me, oh, 145. Sorry, I zoned out for a second. 180 minus 35 is 145. So this is 145 degrees. So now I can go set 10y plus 5. That has to be equal to 145 degrees. So I'm going to subtract 5. 10y equals 140. And then I divide by 10. So y is 14. 